it still feels so surreal. So like, <laughs> this is a, it's all a, a quick turnover and a change, but it's not gonna change who I am. I'm still surprised. go out there and keep working and grinding. How surprised were you? Uh, on a scale of one to ten, a hundred, honestly. Really? Yeah, cause he, cause it was a I had a pretty uh, good day of uh, scrimmage. And then he just popped it on me, right? Like everybody, it was just a surprise, just uh, just like everybody out there. Um, yeah, I, st <laughs> I was, you know, I didn't know what to say when he said it. I was still like, did he really just say that? He said Elijah Goins is on scholarship yesterday. I was like, mm, must be real. And then I came up there, I'm, I gave him a little spill, and I'm still in awe, honestly. So, even though it's the next day, two days later, but you know, I'm still keep working and everything. How does this change things for you, both, both on and off? On off, honestly, it doesn't. It doesn't change anything because I, I'm going to continue to do every, any and everything I can for this team. I mean, it, they're going to give me a paycheck now. <laughs> Other than that, nothing. Yeah. But what is that? I mean, obviously that probably alleviates oh, for you or your family. Or uh, funds, are one, honestly, I mean, in regards to funds and me having the, it's, it's, it's a little less stressful. I have a job right now. I work at CVS Pharmacy. So I probably can take um, a few hours. I mean, I won't have to work as much since they're giving me a, a scholarship check now. But I still want to, you know, do everything I can for myself and still work in because I, I plan on becoming a pharmacist, a pharmacist one day, so I'm still working and get that hands on experience and whatnot. But for the most part, it doesn't change much, except I'll have a little more money in my, uh, my pocket. So why did you come to Ohio State in the first place? Was it to play football or was it to play um, So I am technically from Ohio, okay. so uh, I lived here. Well, I, I was born in Maryland, but my fam, my mom, she had me uh, in the military. So uh, my grandma took care of me while she was in the military. We moved to Tennessee, then we moved to North Carolina. I spent the majority of my life in North Carolina, and then I moved back here after I graduated high school just to be closer to my grandma, my uncles, my aunts, and everything, and attend Ohio State. So, yeah. You switch positions, safety and one. Uh, yeah, so I initially walked on, and uh, I played safety in high school. So they had me at safety, and then Coach Combs, he moved me to corner because uh, I was my speed. So I figured out I, I would um, provide a bigger role for the team there. And then Coach Meyer asked me if I wanted to become a receiver my uh, junior year. So yeah. anything I can for the team, so I'm all over the place. Yeah. Who was the first person that you called in the after days, and that's after it all? The, the first person was my mother. Without a doubt. They actually have a video of me, uh, I think on Twitter, of me, uh, of her reaction after I told her. But yeah, the first person I thought of uh, telling, I've been talking to her about it for a few months. And like, because it was in up in the air, like, if they were going to give me her, give me one or not. So I was like, the first person I got to tell is my mom. And <laughs> her reaction was priceless. It was, uh, it was truly a blessing. But yeah. I was talking about what Joe and Craig meant to you, what they mean to you. Oh, Joe and Craig, they are definitely my idols because they, they kind of set the tone and like we still look up to them because they're, I, I, when I first walked on, they were the two walk-ons who were, who were basically, they were basically, everybody knew they were scholarship players, but they weren't getting paid. And then I think my second year going in, they, uh, they um, announced that they, uh, um, be, uh, they were going to give them scholarships and I was like, okay. It's definitely a possibility that someone like me can earn a scholarship if I just keep working my tail off and doing everything I can. And still, I still look up to them because they're great dudes. What so. do you think you can contribute to this team on the field? On the field, so right now, uh, <laughs> when I was telling uh, after I gave my spill and I said I was uh, moving from safety to corner to right receiver, Coach Mara mentioned that uh, I'm the five. And if you guys don't know what the five is, basically it's um, it's uh, we have like a left miss or a right miss. So it's, it's for uh, special teams. So on kickoff. I provide a, a pivotal role at the five. That's my position. But honestly, I'm just going to start a, a special teams, and if I can get some work on the offense, I'll do that. But right now, it's for sure a special team than anything else I can provide for the team. So, so you're like kick cover, punt cover, or all four units? Uh, I'm trying all four units, in the end, anywhere. I mean, kickoff, yeah, KOR, kickoff return, punt, and uh, punt block. So. As, as a walk on, you mentioned guys like Joe and Craig. Do you feel like you now getting that scholarship need to be a mentor for the younger walk ons okay, and kind of be a leader for them? Without a doubt, I do. I actually I tell the other walk ons all the time that uh, just achieve like me, work your tail off and everything, and anything's possible. Thank so, you. Thank you. all right, appreciate it. <laughs> One last thing, you mentioned, right. your, you mentioned your mom, I mean, and how special she is to you. Yeah. What are the things that she's done for you to help you get uh, to this point? Um, so, let's see. Uh, it's a, Honestly, that's a lot. I'm trying to see where, where can I start? What's the biggest thing? Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, I talk to my mom damn near every night. So she's when I moved. So when I moved uh, from North Carolina to Ohio, uh, they moved to uh, Texas. So my mom actually lives in Texas now. So even though I moved away from, I guess my closest family members, which was my mom, my stepdad, and my uh, and my uh, brother. Um, 
Nicola Cerner. Uh, she's kept me up and lifted, and I don't know, she just keeps me back home. Just talking to her, hearing her voice, and just, I don't know, it just keeps me within myself, and I, I feel humbled all the time, and I know that, like, I don't know. I, I do basically everything I do. I just do it to impress my parents, mostly my mom. Cause she's just she's such a role model for me. And she, she's such a strong woman, and uh, I just really love her to death. I, I wouldn't be anything without my mom. How much does that motivate you to, to work hard and to try to earn a scholarship when you know everything she's done for you? You said how much has it motivated me? Uh, through the roof, honestly. It's not, in, it, not even in regards to just earning the scholarship, but you know, doing well academically and doing everything I can and like getting a job, like working at CVS and doing everything I can to promote myself and in the future, because like I said, I eventually want to become a pharmacist. So I'm doing everything I can now to be successful and eventually in the future, you know, take care of my parents and take care of my, my I guess, my soon to come children and my brothers and sisters and everything. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So. How tough is it to balance all that? 